I have osteogenesis imperfecta type 3, which is a genetic bone disorder. I use it because I have uncontrollable seizures. I'm interested in having marijuana available to patients as an herb which they can inhale because it gives the patient control. And this is an area where the control rightfully belongs to the patient. The pharmaceuticals that I took left me numb. I couldn't string a sentence together. I lived under underwater. Like I, I was so dumb from the drugs. It was a horrible way to live and had seizures. I got sick and I needed some help. Went to see what my doctor had on her shelf. She said I can't help you, but I'll tell you who can. She gave me a smile and a recommendation. I had to get my own information, find a dispensary, or grow my own. Here in the city, there's not enough room to cultivate all I need to consume. So I took a walk to the retail store. There were pipes, buds, and vaporizers, candies, tinctures, and moisturizers. They even had some clones. I'll try purple. Dispensaries serve an important function. Most patients cannot grow their own medicine or don't have the green thumb. But when a patient is sick, that's not the time to make them grow their own. So even though that'd be the safest, ultimately, dispensaries are necessary. We come out of the activist group ACT UP, which is a queer AIDS organization, and so that's kind of been the population I think that we've catered to the most. We are a nonprofit 501c3. We've been in existence since 1999. I've experienced the gun to my head and the handcuffs, and I've experienced the hello, how are you, thank you for inviting us today, yes, everything looks very good, keep up the good work. HPRC is a limited liability corporation. We pay all of our taxes. We have, you know, liability insurance. We're above board and a creditable company in all respects. Emergency response team list. I think WAM is particularly unique because there's not even any cash changing hands. Nobody's making any money off of it. All they're doing is threatening, they taking the risk that their whole property might be confiscated uh, because they're trying to help other people. We offer personal care, everything from rides to help cleaning or babysitting or being with one another. And we offer end of life care and an amazing community. We buried a lot of people. It's not a club you want to belong to. Either you're dying or you're chronically ill. I think we have this wonderful historical moment of these dispensaries that are existing in a kind of a quasi-legal space where the state passed a law but then didn't complete its mandate of figuring out how to safely distribute the medicine to patients. I would just be happy with, with our legislative bodies coming to a consensus so that it's no longer politicized. Either legalize it or not legalize it. People that need medical marijuana need safe access, whether it's a WAM model or a buyer's club, uh, they need safe access and safe marijuana.